Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is your Intuitively Awakened Starseed with a message for the Collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be a general message. This is a collective reading and it is a message for all zodiac signs, you guys. So as always, please remember to only take what resonates and leave the rest as all messages will not resonate with everyone, okay? You guys, thank you so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. The Soul Family is growing. I'm loving this. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey of enlightenment and love. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you. You guys, we're going to go ahead and hop in here and see what is going on for the collective, okay? We're gonna take a look at the energy surrounding you and your person. Um, we're gonna take a look at their intentions, okay? What's ahead for this connection, all right? And also to um, please make sure as always to check your birth charts, your natal charts, things like that. If I didn't say that already, checking for your aspects, your alignments, um, for you and your person, as this is an intuitive love message, okay? Cross watchers as well. But we're going to go ahead and hop in here, see what's going on for the collective, okay? You guys, as always, please remember to take only what resonates with you, leave the rest. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future, he, she, him, her, people, places, things. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message, during this reading. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. Sagittarius, Aries. Sagittarius moon, Aries moon is showing up here. Also too, I'm seeing home, I'm seeing growth. Something surrounding Venus and I'm getting Venus and also Jupiter energy, I'm seeing growth. I'm seeing miracles, something to do with miraculous energy. Um, also, too, this Venus, It's um, this is an intuitive love message, and this is the that's Venus, representative, the planet of love. So, yeah, heavy Aries and also Taurus energy with that as well. So you could have, you guys, you could have a placement in your chart for... Um, Aries or Taurus, Venus, and Jupiter, okay? Yeah, what else we got here? Please give us more for the collective. Please give us more, something about growth and like, I don't know why I just heard miraculous turnaround or something like that, okay? A major impact. So it's like somebody, there's a shift possibly with somebody that you never expected, okay? So an unexpected shift with someone this could be Sagittarius energy. This could be Aries energy. This could be in your chart, okay? Again, these readings are for all zodiac signs, but there's a shift in somebody's energy. There's a turnaround. This could be for a separation or a no contact, okay? Or someone you're in union with. Please take it how it resonates, right? But I'm seeing elevation, promotion, right? Something to do with elevating. There's a lot of growth I'm seeing here. So it's like I'm getting the effects or the impact of something is triggering growth, is the catalyst for growth. Somebody's changing here. What else we got here? Okay. Oh, somebody's very beautiful. I'm seeing Isis energy, very attractive, very beautiful energy. What else we got? Leo, a lot of passion, pride, something about ego. Somebody could have been heavy in their ego. But I'm seeing growth. You have the key. Something about you have the key is what I'm getting. What else we got? Please give us more. This is the general energy surrounding your connection. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Thank you, sir. What's these cards? Okay. All right. So I'm getting Aries energy. And there's something about a confession. Ooh. Not us early in the reading. Capricorn energy. This is a love confession. Venus is showing up here and also Mercury energy. Somebody wants to communicate with you. This is definitely looking like something. This is to do with a separation or a no contact, but there's a confession. Somebody wants to confess to you 
talk to you. I'm looking at this card. It's like somebody really wants to get their point across. It's This could be something um, that is going to happen. Something around the new moon is what I'm getting here. The number 23 could be significant on this card. This is definitely standing out, okay? I'm seeing leaves here. So something to do with the leaves, like shedding. Remember I said that I'm picking up on the energy of ego and now I'm seeing shedding, right? Growth, shedding, like old energy, shedding skin, something like that. Child, please take it how it resonates. But yeah, there's a confession. That's why I'm getting a major shift with someone. They want to talk to you, okay? Yep. Somebody, and I feel like they want to confess something or they want to clear the air because when I'm looking at this card, it's somebody that's really like trying to drive their point home. Okay, this is something about somebody really wanting to get you to understand or get you to see things, see things from a new perspective. And I'm seeing a very cynical or like speculative nature when it comes to you. Yeah. Wow. Somebody wants to get you to see something. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. This is someone you're in separation with, no contact with, okay? I'm seeing home. I'm seeing the number three could be a third party involved here. A lot of growth, though, surrounding this romantic connection, whether you're in union, separation, no contact. Again, please take it how it resonates. But there's somebody that wants you to see them, okay? Very beautiful, though. You're very attractive. And it's like somebody, it's almost like somebody's racing against the clock is what I'm getting. And I'm seeing Lilith here, okay? So I'm getting Scorpio energy. You are very, you, you attract a lot of people, a lot of energy that Lilith is showing through. So there could be someone coming towards you or this person feels as though you have a lot of options and they're running out of time. It's like the impact of the separation has your person like mind blown. They're kind of discombobulated all over the place. Emotions they didn't expect to feel and it's causing a shift in this person's mind state or they're a different mind state. Something about a different mind state or a state of mind, right? A major attachment here, but they don't want anybody else. You get a lot of attention. I'm not going to hold you, right? Like With that Lilith showing up, and then I'm also seeing somebody is kind of possessive when I see that um, moon energy with that Scorpio, okay? Yeah. And it's like, I feel like somebody wants to tell you because I'm seeing sacrifice, right? So something to do with sacrifice. It's like this person wants you to know heavy Scorpio energy. We got, oh, so I'm seeing Neptune, very intuitive. Somebody is locked into your emotions. This person, it doesn't seem like it. It's like, it doesn't seem, I feel like you don't feel like this person is tapped in or they paid attention to you or they were present, but they are. And it's something about your energy that they're picking up during this separation, no contact. It's got them really like mind blown or shook. It's like they're very intuitive when it comes to you. This person doesn't normally pay attention. They, I'm going to keep it a being. This person hasn't, they don't care enough normally in any type of connection, but they, it's like they're very tapped into you, locked in intuitively. Yeah. I'm getting some Pluto energy here. So there's a transformation. And I'm getting something about your aura. You have transformational aura. So it's like, I feel like being out, being... This could be somebody that's transforming while they're in your energy or when you pulled your energy back, this person realized how much you changed them. Because I'm getting, 
they see the attention you're getting. It's like something to do with sacrifice or they would never sacrifice this connection. 18 is significant. The number 18, heavy Scorpio energy, low key possessive over you, right? But now being away from you, Divine Feminine, it's like this person, they're seeing even more. If you're in separation or no contact, they're not vibing with anybody, right? Like being in connection with their divine counterpart, they don't even want this low vibrational energy or something like that. There's a major shift and I feel like people are noticing this. Or this could be somebody that you're in union with, Divine Feminine, to whereas this person, people, they were a player. People could manipulate them, go back and forth in their energy. Could be something about a third party, a karmic ex, but it's like everything has shut down. That's what I'm getting, a shift in their mind state, right? Or this person's state of mind, however, you know, but I'm getting here the, the impact of this separation, or it could be the impact of the union, whatever, y'all. Like, divine feminine energy, there's nothing like it. That's, y'all, I'm just going to keep it a being. What else we got? Two paths. Two paths. Look at that. Okay? Growth. Jupiter energy showing up again. More Scorpio energy showing up, y'all. Sagittarius energy, okay? So somebody could even have a Scorpio moon, okay? Or a Scorpio Jupiter or a Sagittarius moon or a Sagittarius Jupiter, right? So I'm getting very action-oriented, but it's like this person, if you're in separation or even if you're in contact with this person, um, or back in contact, reconcile with this person. This is someone that's ready to take things to the next level. I'm seeing action, okay? There could be somebody that's kind of hiding just how much they do care. I'm seeing that with the moon, okay? So we have that moon Scorpio energy. So a lot of times that's somebody that is very much locked in. They don't want you to know how much. There, there's a fear there. There's an element of fear that, you know, you, they may scare you off. Or maybe this is somebody that they feel like the possessive feelings they're feeling may chase you away. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Yeah, but I'm seeing here two paths, right? So there's a shift. There's a shift in this person's path and their journey when they came in contact with you, okay? And there's growth, right? But there's also some manipulation. I'm telling you, it's like it's always that path, that winding path. I feel like for some of you guys, you're in separation with this person, but there's a winding path, a lot of detours, right? A lot of blockages, challenges, finding their way back to you, okay? Okay? Yes, because there's some type of manipulation going on here, and I'm seeing fulfillment, fulfillment, right? So uh, you're with this person once. I feel like there's something that took place, has you guys in this separation, right? Um, there's a lot of growth, though. This person is, there's a very strong impact on them, right? This is something they didn't expect, but there's manipulation, right? Again, people are seeing the shift in this person's energy, whether you're in union or separation, no contact, or recently reconciling with this person, okay? And it's because you're who they want, but it's like there was a difficult start. I'm seeing two sides to this person, alter ego, Okay, I'm getting alter ego showing up here and something to do with competitiveness. There's somebody competing for this person's attention possibly, okay? Or maybe you felt as though you were in competition when you were with this person. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Yeah. 
This person, I feel like, look at this. First card out. Somebody's got a lot to say to you. And they want to confess their feelings. And again, I'm getting this could even be somebody you're in union with. And maybe you're, you know, there's some, you're speculating, right? This person's energy, you're, you know, it's like, you may be wondering if this person is all in with you or something like that. And it's like it's hidden, though. I'm getting that. It's like it's hidden. Somebody's very locked in with you. Right? else we got and they have a lot to say so even if you're in union separation no contact this is somebody that wants to confess their feelings right what else we got please give us more for the collective please give us more for the collective what okay okay there's two sides to this person. I'm picking up on duality. Again, people are seeing this. So it's like, I feel like the manipulation is coming from people that, you know, this person was very noncommittal, very detached in the past, never really formed an attachment, something like that. But I'm seeing here, this is someone that wants to reconcile. They want to bridge the gap or either... You're healing, right? Because you're a healer, a light worker, a star seed, divine feminine, right? You know, this your soul's mission, your soul's path here is, you know, a healer. I'm getting ascended master, chosen one, but I'm seeing here bridging the gap, right? So this is somebody that either they want to reconcile you're in separation from, or this is someone that you have truly bridged the gap. So this is somebody that has formed an attachment. This is something new to them. That's why I'm getting that Scorpio energy. This person is hiding this because it's like that energy of like all of a sudden, this person is deeply attached to you, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting here because I'm definitely seeing Venus energy here and I'm also getting that Mercury energy, right? So that communication, yeah, communication, okay. Oh, this was somebody you didn't feel like they were locked in is what I'm getting. Something like that. Reputation, that's why I keep picking up on player energy. Oh, and then Venus shows up. Okay, so let's clear the air right here. Look at this. And I'm seeing sword, communication, and that sword could also be representative of this person. Again, a different mind state, growth, tapping into their higher self, people that no longer serve them, people that they are no longer in frequency with. They're removing people, severing ties is what I'm getting. This is someone that's severing ties with that sword energy, Libra. Oh, we got a lot of energy here. So I have a Libra, Scorpio, okay? This is somebody, again, that is very attached to you romantically. There is a loving connection here. I feel like this person feels as though the emotions, they're feeling overwhelming emotions, but they may feel as though that's too much for you, or maybe they're not sure if you are going to be receptive. Because this person, wow. This could be somebody that wants to reconcile, right? Deep emotions, but they're afraid that you're not going to be receptive. Something like that. But look here. It's their reputation. Something about this person's reputation, right? And I feel like, Divine Feminine, you knew that this person was non-committal in the past, but you guys formed a very unique bond very quickly, right? So it was like right off the bat, you guys like formed this bond this connection, okay? Seeds were planted. What? Uh -huh. A soul connection was made. Venus. Taurus, okay? Venus energy, right? Loving energy, okay? 
the planet of love. And I'm seeing something to do with this rep, this person's reputation. This, this person was adjusting, is adjusting, because they don't form attachments. So now it's like I'm getting low key behind the scenes all mine. So this person could be representing a alter ego, a false sense of self, right? They could be acting nonchalant, but I'm getting beneath the surface, right? There could be some type of um, abandonment issues or something like that, right? So this person, they may be afraid to show you how they feel because they feel as though you may abandon them. Wow. Oh, but they locked in. Taurus energy showing up here with Venus. <laughs> Taurus, Venus placement come through. And then I'm seeing here reputation, something about their reputation. So I feel like this is someone, this is a caveat for someone. I feel like this divine masculine was very fragmented, distorted. Their past has, you know, they got a pass. Everybody got a pass, right? But I'm getting like this person, their past, they were a player. They were non-committal. There's a lot of low vibrational energy, still like the hanger on type of energy, right? Now I'm getting here, you knew this. And I feel like, you know, the connection that you guys initially made was undeniable, right? So it's like, okay, the love that you felt for this person, the connection, there was a soul tie, right? You know, an energetic activation, an energetic exchange, all of that, right? You were like, okay, past is the past with this person, right? I feel like you look at it like, okay, their past is their past. We rocking, things are good. We, we on the same frequency. We on the same vibration. But then as soon as this person... They had fallen in love and it was like how they were reacting to you, that energetic shift that you felt. I feel like automatically you felt as though, okay, this person is, they haven't changed or you're, you're speculating or you feel like something's hidden, right? But I'm seeing this person's locked in. This person's locked in and they don't get locked in. Mm. Now I'm getting some manipulative energy here. Because, again, there are people seeing that a shift in this person's energy. There's people jealous. There's people want to know who's this divine feminine, who's causing this shift in this person's energy. Because I'm getting a lot of low vibrational energies have been trying to bend over backwards to get this type of reaction, this type of connection from this person. Divine feminine, you walked in your essence. Your essence, right? That energy that you come with. You change their mindset. So even, you know, I'm getting during separation, right? The impact of you pulling your energy back, it's still being felt. Your presence is still being felt. And it has this person mind blown and the people around them. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. And it got them. I feel like people are like, oh, so you acting funny. You acting funny, okay? You changing. Somebody say, I feel like that's what this divine masculine is hearing. Because they have transformed. There's a transformation here, okay? And I feel like, you know, with the swords, like I'm seeing that like severing ties, cutting ties type of energy, right? Ooh. Now I'm seeing alter. This could mean commitment. Somebody could have an altar. I'm seeing growth, spiritual growth, okay? I'm getting that spiritual growth. Tapped in. Mmm. Could be some spell work here. Ciao. When you see that altar card, Aries energy. Okay, but this is somebody that definitely I'm getting wants to set the record straight with you. Now, this could be somebody that is, you know, I feel like maybe communicating with you telepathically. That could be why I'm seeing that altar card. Okay, 
because as a divine masculine, divine masculines also do have spiritual gifts as well. They're spiritually tapped in. Okay. They want to be in harmony with you. This person's no longer acting out of impulse with outside energies. Now with you, that could be a little different. Okay. But I'm seeing here music, musical notes, harmony, happiness, being in rhythm, right? Yeah. That's y'all. What else we have? Please give us more. But they want to, it's like they want to tell you this, right? I feel like this person wanted like a long-term commitment from the very beginning. They just want to keep you close. That's what I'm getting. Like they just want to keep you close. I'm getting that energy. What else we got here? Okay. Shifting their mindset. They can no longer be played with. They're no longer entertaining. I'm getting certain energies. Look at this. We got Aquarius energy. Okay. Something significant around the new moon. I keep saying that. So it could be breaking no contact or there's some type of elevation, some type of message. But it's like something, it's like I'm getting here, putting it in stone, etched in stone making it official, something around the full moon. And I'm getting, I mean, the the new moon. So I'm getting here Aquarius energy, very serious. And somebody, it's like etched in stone, I'm seeing here with regards to, I'm seeing Venus energy, very strong, heavy Taurus placement, okay? Could be a Taurus Aries cusp or an Aries Taurus cusp as well. There's a lot of growth when it comes to love, when it comes to a loving connection with this person, with you, Divine Feminine. But there's something about etching it in stone, making it official and a message coming in. And it's, yeah, something about the new moon. Wow. Okay, let's get some more real quick here. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You got the key. Protected. This Divine Masculine is very protective of you. This is a protected connection. You got the key to this person's heart. I'm getting loyalty. Something to do with um, canine dogs. That very loyal energy. Again, new moon energy, Capricorn energy, Hecate. Okay, I see that. Wow. So this person was in between worlds. But you're protected or this connection is protected. And when I see this card here, very spiritual. Because this card is representing like crossroads, a shift. Crossroads, um, being able to see in multiple directions at once. Very, a lot of spiritual gifts. I'm picking up on that in this reading. This person's manifesting you. If you're not in contact with them, they, you could feel them pulling on your energy. Somebody has very spiritual, they're very gifted they have these spiritual gifts. Extremely gifted is what I'm getting. With that, more than you know, Divine Feminine. Or they could be working with someone. A deity. Come through, Spirit. I'm seeing a deity here. This person's not playing about this connection. All right? What else we got? What else we got? Instinct, right? Intuition. All day. Yeah. Abundance. This person chooses you something to do with door. Something to do with door. Changes. You guys have been through a lot of changes is what I'm getting. But it's like this person wants to make it official. Okay. 
I'm getting pushing past obstacles. I'm getting Uranus or Uranus energy, okay? And something to do with Mercury communication, Libra energy. So pushing beyond the norms or the obstacles is what I'm getting with this, okay? Somebody very rebellious. Now, remember I was saying that you do get a lot of attention. You're very attractive. And I was picking up on that Lilith energy with you. So you exude with your feminine essence, you exude some um, some energy. Please read between the lines, y'all, right? So it's like the energy that you're exuding, you got a lot of attention coming towards you, right? Libra energy. This person... I'm seeing coming to your door. This could be an unexpected visitor. Somebody coming to make their emotions clear. Or I feel like you. Know, this is somebody that wants to make it official. There's a confession. They want to make it official. And it's like all of this because of the impact. This is the impact of this separation. They're mind blown. It's like not having your energy. They're seeing what it's like without you. Or something like that. There's going to be communication. This person could be coming towards you, coming to your home, a pop-up visit. It's like the clouds are clearing. So I'm seeing there was a storm here. You see that? The clouds are clearing. I'm seeing the sun is shining through. Okay? And it's like this person's coming through. It's like there for some of you guys... I'm getting there could have been like a path of destruction left, but I'm getting it's like rebuilding, repairing, right? Reconnecting. A powerful connection. Wow. Okay. Number 16 could be significant. One in six is seven. Number seven could be significant. Numerology there. Okay. Stability. Oh, creating that stable foundation. Y'all, this is somebody that I feel like you don't know how much this person cares. But I feel like for some of you guys, that energy that I'm getting, you're attracting. It's like there is somebody, I'm getting that rebellious energy as well with Uranus, right? So it's like, remember I said like low-key possessed, like possessive over you, right? So, or this connection, you and this connection, all right? And I feel like you could have other energies around you. You could be open. You could be receptive. You know, you could be trying to put closure to this connection, right? You could be getting back out there, back outside. But when this divine masculine pops up, I'm getting an element of rebellion, like being very rebellious, um, you know, because again, I feel like this separation, this person feels as though this is temporary. They're still very much so connected to you, okay? And I'm seeing investment, right? This person's very invested in this connection. And economy, right? What is going on here? Somebody could have something to do with something about their investment, something getting a payout on an investment. I'm seeing economy, economical, something like that, right? There could be something to do with financial abundance as well. Okay, but not giving up Taurus energy. So this person's definitely not giving up, okay? And they haven't want, they didn't want anyone else. I'm seeing isolation here, the isolated, and I'm getting Pisces energy. This is what you don't know. So this is somebody that was like a player, right? And you knew that going in, but you realize your soul, your intuition, you knew this is your person, regardless of the circumstances surrounding it. But I feel like what you were seeing, what you were picking up on, it was so easy to make that parallel between this person, how they are now and their past. But this is this person locking in with you, adjusting, because they don't form attachments, but they attach with you. Okay. Guru. Guru. Yes. 
And I'm seeing Pisces energy, right? So very intuitive. Intuitively, you realize, right? It's like, And it's something about your appeal. It's something about how you appeal. But there's multiple people, so I'm getting that massive. Like, you got that mat. You got that appeal, right? That's what I'm getting here, right? You may not realize it, Divine Feminine, but your essence... When you go out, you may notice people stare at you. You notice you catch people staring at you. I don't care if it's male, female, same sex, opposite sex, whatever. Gender fluidity. You notice people staring at you. Your presence and your essence, you exude like I'm getting like um, yeah, sexy. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But you're also, you have that essence, your spiritual nature, right? But I feel like it, it was hidden or either this divine masculine, they were so mesmerized, right? By your appeal. I'm getting, you know, it's just that they weren't even focused on the outside world. But now being on the outside during the separation, because I feel like you pulled your energy back. You didn't feel like they were present. You didn't feel like you were getting your emotional needs met. This is my masculine. I'm going to keep it a beam with you. They didn't know how to meet your emotional needs because they ain't never been attached. Not like this. And I don't care what went on in their past. They could have been in, you know, a long-term connection. They could have been married, engaged, whatever. But it's like it was different with you. This was something different. Oh, yes. Woo. What else we got? Confidence. Mm. Could have been a little insecure on the opposite of that, right? Yeah, they were trying to adjust to this, right? You the one. And it's like this divine masculine had a taste of like the good life. And I mean good life being in the energy, the energy that you exude. Your essence, you're not low vibrational. So they had a taste of that. So now they're back in karmic land and it's like they got a bad taste in their mouth. And it's like, mm, why I got a bad taste in my mouth about, you know, this energy where they're used to being because they had a taste of the good life. They had the creme de la creme. I said that before in a previous reading, right? So it's like they descended. Child. Mask is coming off. Vulnerability. That's why I'm getting that confession. Yup. And they want to let you know. There's going to be communication. Mercury showing up here. How this person communicates is going to be different is what I'm getting. How they communicate to you. Also, too, with the Uranus energy, the Uranus energy showing up. It's like pushing past. So if there's somebody around, they're pushing past that. So there's nothing that Taurus energy is showing up. There's nothing keeping someone from reconciling or trying to reconcile because it's like this person knows that they are the one for you. They, this person real, they, this person's mindset is no one can love you the way that they can love you. Can't nobody love you. The way they love you, right? Because this is on a deeper level. It's more than just beyond the surface. It's more than the surface level. It goes beneath, beyond the surface level, right? Uh huh. They see like nobody's even good enough for you. And it's like, that's, you know, when I was getting that confidence. This divine masculine may come off as cocky, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that confidence. But it's like they're being spiritually guided. They're locked in. They know that they're your divine counterpart, right? They realize you share a soul connection. This person realizes that this love was manifested in the spiritual realm. They're being divinely guided to you by source. So it's like anybody... No shade, but it ain't them. That's how they feel. Ooh. Ooh. So they about to let these feelings be known. Doing over, revision, revising, right? So I'm getting whatever happened in the past. 
That was in the past. This person was adjusting to true love. Ooh. Love overflowing. Love overflowing. And they're learning how to manage, I'm getting, or trying to learn how to manage these emotions. Because they never attached to somebody, so they never, there was no possessive type of energy. But I feel like with this divine masculine, low key, what they were feeling is like all mine. You all mine, come here, like I got to keep you close. But this person didn't want to scare you away. Wow, this is deep. Okay. Ooh, very deep emotions. You see that? And they're shutting it down. Cancer energy, Leo energy. So they're confident about that. You may have triggered some insecurities with them, right? You're very unique. You're rare. But the one thing they're, they're confident, they know they're the one for you, right? But they don't want you to feel like, you see this? Prisoner. So they don't want you to feel like they're controlling or anything like that. Wow. And I'm seeing the number 26 could be significant. It could be somebody's birthday. Somebody could have a birthday on the second of a month or the sixth of the month, right? Um... But I'm seeing eight as well. And that's Leo energy. Okay. I'm picking up on that Leo energy, that portal, Lionsgate portal, right? Manifestation. This person manifesting you, heavily manifesting, heavily manifesting you. Okay. And this is Venus, right? So you could have, ooh, Aquarius, Venus. Somebody could have an Aquarius Venus placement or somebody could have a, a Pisces Neptune placement or an Aquarius Neptune placement. Very intuitive. Somebody could have some Aquarius in their chart. And I'm with this Aquarius and Pisces energy, somebody could be an Aquarius... I'm getting Pisces cusp or Pisces Aquarius cusp as well. That could be significant for someone. But this person, look, okay, so I'm seeing volcano. Mm. A volcano, Aries energy. Again, a lot of intuition, right? But I'm seeing here determination. So it ain't over. For those of you that may feel like it's over, right? Or you may be skeptical about this person's true intentions, their intentions, like, nah, this person, it's just, they're hidden. And they're hidden because they don't want to scare you off. But I feel like because they were hidden or they weren't being vulnerable with their true emotions, that that put you off. Oh, but there's been a shift. They're different. So I'm getting the past is the past. I keep getting that like the past is the past. What happened in the past is in the past. This person is different. They're new. Okay. Oh, achieving new levels of I'm getting enlightenment or something like that. A lot of growth. Wow. Okay, you guys. Let's go ahead and get some more cards here. See what we get for the collective, y'all. Mmm. This is somebody that doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, but you're about to find out. Because one of the, in the very beginning, we've seen that confession. Somebody wants to make a confession. Seeing a confession of love, y'all. Or they want to clear the air. So there could have been rumors circulating. This person was being, you know, um, unfaithful. Maybe you thought this person was cheating, playing on you, however you say it, right? Like, uh, that was old. Mm-hmm. No, this person wants to set the record straight with you. Okay. Whole different presence, even a shift in their energy, a shift in their mind state, a shift in their energy. Yeah. What else we got? This has created a change in this person, but it's like a change that other people wanted to see. They wanted to have this person shift or change. It's like changing this 
person from being a player or something like this. Look, mm. this divine masculine came into balance when they came into contact with you. Oneness, completion, that's that twin flame energy, part of the same soul, right? They were coming into balance. That's what you were picking up on. I'm seeing patience. Having patience. Quartz energy, that pineal gland, right? I'm getting open up that third eye, tapping into your higher self. Ooh. Wow. What else we got here? This divine masculine's energy has changed. And if you're in separation, I'm getting like this person, they haven't been with anyone else. There's been introspection. There's been growth. Okay. Wow. There's an awakening. Huh. There's an awakening with this person. But under this, I'm seeing connection. So this connection was the catalyst. Okay. This connection was the catalyst for this person's awakening, for their growth, for their development, okay? The ability to make a connection. I'm seeing connection. They're no longer like that anxious avoidant or something like that. So there's trust here. This person felt safe with you, right? But I feel like this person needs you to feel safe with them. So it's like overcoming doubts. So it's like using that third eye. That's why I'm getting that. Using that third eye, your intuition, right? Really looking into who this person truly is. They need you to see them. That's why I'm getting this energy of this person, like really trying to drive the point home because they need you to see them for who they truly are. But I feel like your soul recognizes them. But there's so many like rumors, false narratives, things like that going on around this person. That it made you second guess. You second guess your intuition. I feel like that, right? But see, I'm seeing that speculative, right? Yeah, like cynical, you know. And I keep getting the passes in the past. Ooh, okay. What else we got? See, that's you, Divine Feminine. Here's the sacral portal, the sacral chakra, right? Your sacral chakra. You open this Divine Masculine sacral chakra. So you, it was like connecting the dots, right? They were becoming open. Things were connecting, right? So it was like their heart was connected with the intimacy. If you picking up what I'm putting down. So when that energetic exchange happened, that's when the, I'm getting like everything just connected. It was like that ladder, right? Going up the chakra, right? So it was like a healing experience. You're very powerful. <laughs> Divine Feminine. You're very powerful, okay? Intimacy, inhibition, y'all. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. And you attract a lot of energy. You just exuded, child. Please give us more. And that's got this divine masculine, like, you know, racing the clock as well. Yeah. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more. Majestic eminence, right? High priestess energy, divine feminine energy. I told you, you are more powerful than you realize. Your presence is still felt. And there's no comparing you, right? There's no comparison with anyone else. In any way. Amethyst. Purple. I'm seeing purple. A lot of purple here is standing out to me in this card. Okay. That could be significant. Amethyst. Okay. Clarity. Yeah. You could wear amethyst. You could wear like an amulet or a talisman. Something that has um, amethyst in it. 
or this could be you being guided to wear that to help you with your intuition when you're meditating, things like that, to help open up that third eye because I feel like something about the world here or the, the physical realm is definitely blocking that for you. Something like that, right? But you don't understand how powerful you are, child. Look at this, the strength in the background. You see that? This person is so locked into you. You did, I don't know what you did to them, y'all. It's coming out in the cards, though. That's, you, you put it down. That's when it went down, right? Yeah. Mm. What else we got? Magical realms, right? Again, this person not being, they don't want nobody else but you. Destined connection. Passion. It's like, there was like, you guys came together. You came together quickly. I feel like there was a very strong connection. But then it was like when that energetic exchange happened, please read between the lines. When that energetic exchange happened, that's when it was like, there was a major shift and you could have noticed this person acting differently after that. And that's because there was a flood of emotions. You opened up, this person became open. They became wide open, those chakras. Yes. And I feel like you maybe thought because of this person's past after you guys shared this energetic exchange, please pick it up what I'm putting down. You felt as though this divine masculine was seeing you as a low vibrational energy or they were treating you like that. But no, this divine masculine, they were experiencing growth, ascension. Source notes his law. The divine knows who to align who with to get them on their path. The divine knows what you need and you got what this person needs. Come through, spirit. Look, look. Hey. Mm. Ooh, child. What else we got here? Cards black going everywhere now, right? This person could have been very awkward. Two, something about some awkwardness I'm picking up on, just the way the cards, the way they reacted to you may it not have been what you expected. That's because there was something else going on here, a spiritual experience, right? There was a spiritual experience happening. This was more than just, y'all, please... That's what threw them off. They fell in love. They felt true love. That's what threw them off. You're their manifestation here in this physical realm. Protected. Their intentions are pure. I'm seeing very pure intentions right here. It's on the car. Pure intentions. Okay. There was such a fine line in between this person's past and their present with you that I feel like it was like anything that, any reaction that they had. Would have made you think that they were regressing, they were stepping backwards, they were in between worlds, they were still in this low vibrational energy. It was just the opposite. It was just the opposite, y'all. Oh, this is a very, very strong connection and somebody wants to clear the air. I feel like there is something, though, that took place, but there's seeds of doubt because remember I was getting manipulation, but that manipulation is coming from some low vibrational energy from their past. And it's the key word past. It's truly behind them type of energy. Whoa, because I'm getting pure intentions here liberation they done stepped away from this they found their wish fulfillment and you see source made sure that your soul and their soul recognized each other because see i feel like this divine masculine's been through karmic cycle after karmic cycle after karmic cycle They've been in so many toxic cycles, so much toxic energy, right? And it's like source made sure because it's like this, 
they can have as much of these pick me's as they want. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. But they had, Source had to make something different to get this divine masculine's attention. And you got their attention. Because it's something about how they reacted during your energetic exchange that kind of threw you off or after. Please take it how it resonates. But yeah, it was something different. Uh-huh. But it wasn't just that hit. But I feel like you felt as though it was like that hit. You know, somebody, you know, coming in and just a transient type of thing. No, it wasn't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Please give us more. It's going to be harmony, a resolution here. I'm seeing here transmuting these emotions, alchemizing these emotions is what I'm getting. So I'm getting the doubt. The speculation is definitely because this is my masculine. I feel like they have shed a skin. It's like they have shed an outer layer of some sorts. I'm seeing fall like leaves, leaves falling from a tree, right? It's like shedding, right? And it's like time to like hibernate, doing like introspection, doing inner work. And then, you know, new, the newness. And I feel like that's where you guys are at right here. Okay. And I'm seeing transmuting any doubt into clarity alchemizing that energy. That's what I'm getting, right? This divine masculine can do that. They got spiritual gifts as well. This divine masculine, they can do that, okay? They've let go of the past. They need you to let go of that past, right? Because they ain't there no more. I feel like a lot of people looking for them there, but they're not there anymore. That's what your intuition's picking up on as well, Okay? They're part of the awakening. I'm seeing something to do with Gaia and awakening, right? So, uh, yeah. This is your divine counterpart. Oh, specific person. What else we got here? Utopia. Paradise with you. Come through, spirit. Come through, spirit. Something to do with forgiveness, redemption, rebirth, and regenerating. I'm getting rebirth and regenerating this connection. Because it's like, really, who's to blame here, right? Who's truly to blame? I feel like it was, it was an adjustment with the twin flame connections here. It's like, you know, you come together quickly. You feel that bond. It sparks. But then it's like, then there are sparks, right? So it's like a lot of chaos, conflict, back and forth, right? But it's an adjustment period. So I really get, when I'm seeing forgiveness, I'm not getting that there, it's like, there's no one to blame here. It's more like an adjustment, right? And getting to know each other, because again, this could be something that happened very quickly, okay? Illusions. Creating a separation, lies, rumors, right? A disconnect. Wow. That crown chakra. Okay, so it's, it, I feel like, again, adjustment period, understanding one another. I, I'm seeing divine understanding, right? So, understanding how one another communicates those love languages, moods, shifts, up and down, highs and lows. This is you're entering a different cycle into this connection. That's what I'm getting with the crown portal, that crown chakra. Yeah. But there was something very cathartic, very, um, I feel like very therapeutic or, you know, very, when it comes to this separation, that's what I'm getting. Something very therapeutic. Yeah, something cathartic here. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Third eye opening. So understanding. That's what I'm getting. Just understanding, right? Ooh, and seeing through the veil. Seeing through 
the drama, the fog, the illusions. And I feel like there's an element of that on your side too as well because your essence, Divine Feminine, and whoever I'm speaking to, whomever this is resonating with, I feel like you also exude something that really draws people in. <laughs> you guys, you got that energy. Divine Feminine, and I feel like this Divine Masculine trying to adapt to that or trying to adjust to that as well. Because they never had somebody get the type of attention you get. Ooh. Because it's like, I feel like people are drawn to you, but it's drawn to your light. It's also drawn to you provide, it's like they see a level of comfort, truth, purity, something to do with pure, genuine energy, right? But it's not like you're just attracting people that want to come in and out. It's like these people want to stay. So it's like, yeah, this divine masculine is adjusting to that, right? Wow. This separation has illuminated a lot and I'm seeing solar. Okay, so that's solar chakra, right? Balancing. Okay, not being manipulative, coming out of that ego, but just being in balance, right? Operating out of your higher self, this divine masculine is mastering that is what I'm getting. Okay, emotional freedom, being able to be vulnerable. Get ready, Divine Feminine, because I feel like how this Divine Masculine feels for you behind the scenes, low key, what's being hidden, like secretive emotions, hidden emotions, hidden feelings. You're going to be, I feel like, a bit overwhelmed by this, right? It may be a relief, but also a bit overwhelming. So just definitely get prepared for that. Now, for some of you guys, this could come in the... I'm getting this now, like, let me get this. It, this could come, the version of this divine masculine showing their emotions or revealing how they truly feel. I keep getting this confrontation energy. If you have another masculine in your energy or you're starting to be open, there's another masculine around someone, there could potentially be a confrontation unexpected, but that's where you're going to see this divine masculine's true emotions for you come out and how they truly feel. And it's going to be shocking. Okay. That's for some of you guys, right? Because look, guardian protected, even though you separated. <laughs> yeah. Get ready, divine feminine. Let's get some tarot real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Yeah. Somebody got another masculine energy around them. I'm picking up on that. Like you're starting to get close to someone. Mm -mm. And literally, I just got mm -mm. like that's being shut down. Now, this could be somebody that knows this. And that's why I'm getting that energy of someone rushing in towards you. But let's see what the tarot got. Okay. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I feel like people feel like maybe, you know, you got this Divine Masculine under a spell, right? Something like that. People want to know what's the control. How is this Divine Masculine so locked into you? How is so many people attracted to you type of energy? Yeah. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. What's the outcome? Okay, so Ten of Wands, they burden without you, but there's something else burdening this Divine Masculine. And I feel like they know you attract attention, okay? But the type of attention you attract, this is not the type of attention that just want to come and go. You attract an attention that want to stay. They're burdened by that. They know you got options. I just seen the Seven of Cups, Okay. Just seen the Seven of Cups. Ooh. In reverse. Mm. Three of Swords. This person's manifesting you. They're, they don't want to cause any harm. They never did. It's like their past is coming in and affecting the future. Again, I'm seeing this is standing out. Manifestation. Talisman here. 
something to do. And remember I said amethyst, okay? Somebody could wear amethyst or this is spirit guiding you to get amethyst. Wear it close on a necklace, your chest, creating some type of, um, I'm getting charm. Could be a charm, amulet, something like that. Yeah. Sneaky energy, beware. I'm seeing that. But I'm getting ma magicians. It could be somebody feels as though you've done spell work or somebody trying to do spell work, right? Because it's like you have an essence about you that people want to know, like what it is, right? And so I feel like people are trying to sh like shape shift or copycat you. Fake spirituality, I'm seeing here. Because of that transformative aura that you have, you've changed this divine masculine. Look, but it's all about your love and how you loved on them. This is your divine counterpart. Wait, that's what they don't know. This chestnut checker is on the spiritual level. That's what they don't know. This is chess, not checkers, on a spiritual level. This is a divine connection, okay? And it's your essence, how you loved on this divine masculine, literally, <laughs> how you loved on this divine masculine, divine feminine. You rocked a world. You did. Shook it up. And it's like the impact of your separation it's like it's it's culminating, right? So it's like them feeling, it's like the best, you're the best thing that ever happened to them. And they were trying to adjust to that, but then now they're trying to adjust to not having it. They couldn't even adjust to having it, right? Woo. Look at that. What else we got? Hmm. What else we got? They've been in the depths of despair. People have never seen this divine masculine like this. After this tower moment. Y'all, I'm leaving this here. I'm seeing growth. Um, Aries energy, I'm sorry. I'm seeing growth. Aries energy. You're going to see a side to this divine masculine you've never seen before. Look, <laughs> Happily ever after. You see that? Yeah, straight like that. You the one, not the two, not ever. Look, in reverse. They coming up out of the cold. They're not letting anyone get in the way. Because look, people never seen them like this, right? That five of cups, deep in despair. They never cared so much after this separation, after this tower moment. You got this person. Hopefully this helps somebody, whoever this is resonating with. And again, it won't resonate with everyone, you guys, you know, but this person, you were the one. You are the one to tame this person. You see that? Oh, Leo energy. That ego, all of that. Major shift with you, a whole new mind state, growth and development. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.